Josh, not now. Good heavens. What is it? Who knows? You name it. Names are not what I do. All he had to do was say, don't play, and that would have been it. Anybody can say, don't play. I have to create. Why don't you make another ox? I'm tired of making oxes. I made an ox, I made two ox. Two ox and a plenty. Make a buzzard. I like buzzards. I'm looking to make something new. I mean, I've created life, but something is missing. What? I don't know. Something. Some element. What do you mean, anybody? Oh. No, you said anybody can say don't play. Well, anybody, what did you have in mind? It is not a what, it is a who. A who? A who doesn't exist. I don't know a who doesn't exist. How can I know who doesn't exist if he doesn't exist? He doesn't exist. A who is a he. Who is a he? He doesn't exist. Who? Exactly. What day is today? Ah, uh, it's the void firmament earth. Sixth day. Then I know who doesn't exist. He. Right. Who he? Exactly. How will give me a break? I will do better than that. I will give you man. The God who created us is gracious and loving. He takes special delight in the human beings he has created. Our happiness and fulfillment are at the very top of his agenda. He wants us to stretch our human potential and grow into the joy-filled human beings he made us to be. This is why he launches us on a process that will enable us to do just that. At every stage along the way, God is involved in this process but he does not totally dominate it. He wants us to make our own decisions and assume responsibility for our own lives. He wants us to collaborate with him in the creation of our own happiness. We do this by exploring the world in which we live, by sharing ourselves with those around us, and by freely opening ourselves to God. Now sometimes this is easy, and sometimes it's hard, but always it's exciting, that's for sure. Certainly not a banana. Are you sure? Oh, yes, it's got carrot written all over it. Where is it written, Lord? Carrot, I like that. Josh, it's a carrot. Get rid of that tail. Get rid of the tail? But it's silly. I mean, why not fins or, or fangs or, or a bill? Where is your sense of design? my sense of design. Harold. Harold? Harold? I'd definitely lose that tail. All right. Anybody can be named Harold. Well, then we'll call you Harold. Oh, no, no. I'm Adam. You are? Yes. And you're God. He, he just got here. God. <clears throat> God. Lord, I like it. Harold. God. God. Lord. That was my second choice. Was it? Huh. Lord, huh? huh? You could use either one. Lord. God, that's good. I'm easy. Alternate. Use either one. Or you could use them together. Together? Huh. God, Lord. I think Lord God. Oh, yeah. yeah that's much better. <laughs> you know, he's here five minutes. Five minutes! And already we have Lord, God, and Carrot. This is a nice place you've got here. 
I hoped you'd like it. Ah, yes. How big is it? Compared to what? I don't know. I've never been anywhere else. What else is there? Well, there's a whole lot else. Well, I haven't done too much with it. There's a lot of rocks and water and sand. Nothing too spectacular. He's very modest. You'll learn that about him. Uh, well, God, you've certainly done a lot with this. Well, I've been trying out a lot of stuff, and whatever works, I spread it around a little bit at a time. Miracle here, miracle there. I think it's perfect, Harold. God. God. Perfect. God. Is it perfect, God? You know, I don't know. I sense that something is missing. I need an opinion. Oh, I'm an opinion. I need another opinion. Well, I, I would like to see it. Oh, well, please, see it. Enjoy it. Uh, look around and come back and tell me what you think. I value your opinion. I'll go with him. No, you stay right here. You come back, Adam. Oh, yes, of course, Lord. He should have bowed. You should have bowed. You let him be awed first. Then he will bow. You don't value my opinion. I know your opinion is consistent. I do not know his opinion about anything. You know what? I like that. What happens when he comes up with an opinion you don't like? Well, I don't know. I guess I'll reason with him. What if he's unreasonable? How can he remain unreasonable when I am wise? But you're always wise. Well, I'm God. <laughs> and he is not God. Yes. God, it's all so wonderful. The colors, the smells. God, it's all a miracle. God, I love it. <laughs> what is it, Lord? It loves it. How do you know? When one of my creatures loves something, I know it. Name it, Adam. It needs a name. Name it, Adam. Would you like me to give it a shot, Lord? Adam, will you name it? Edenville. Edenburg. Smedleyburg. No, Edinburgh is much better than Smedleyburg. Edenston. Edenbush. Eden. Eden. How about just Eden? Eden. Eden. Yes, that's it. Eden. Oh. Is God going to be surprised? <laughs> well, now, why are you so unhappy? Because I have no purpose. Now, now, what do you mean, no purpose? Well, of what use am I? I mean, everything this new creature does amuses you. I at least used to amuse you. You do amuse me. You make me smile. The way you use your hands. The way your wings flutter in consternation. It's really cute. Cute. You gave him wings, too. Just like mine. Only angels are supposed to have wings. Birds have wings? Not the same. You know it's not the same. You don't want him to have wings? He's got no wings. What's the matter? Huh? Did you hurt your leg? Well, yeah, come on. Let me rub it for you. There we go. You feel better? <laughs> well, Josh, he is de-winged. There's nothing there but two little blades right under his shoulders. Does that make you happy? Happy? Well, n now your man can't even fly. All he's got left is that ridiculous little horn. Oh, you don't like that horn? Only slightly less than that hair. I see. No horn and no hair. No, wait. Ah. God, warm is really nice. 
There. That couple of degrees makes a difference. Lord, you're so in impetuous. I prefer spontaneous. Yeah, well, it's not... Look, you wanted to be of some use. You're being a big help. Help? You're making me a villain. On the contrary, I'm making you a collaborator. We are evolving something. But it's true he is less animal. And more man. Evolution, that's the key. Why do everything all at once? Let it work itself out. And if along the way we see that something isn't quite right, well, we'll change it some more. You mean you'll change it? Lord, please, give me a, a function, a job, something permanent. I mean, you're not going to make a man every day. Anything. I'll, I'll do anything. I made you a guardian. Guardian? What in Eden needs guarding? Something may happen. Like what? Something. I will create something that will happen. What? what what's going to happen? Joshua, are you not an angel? I am an angel, Lord. And is not an angel a perfect creature? An angel is a perfect creature, Lord. Impatience is an imperfect state of mind. I'll be perfect, Lord. Good judge. Lord. Yes, my perfect creature. How do you blast carrot? I'm Adam. I'm Gray. I see that. I'm new here. Everything's new here. I'm a friend of God's. How do you know? He values my opinion. What is your opinion? Of what? The fact that God values your opinion. I have no opinion of that. Well, do you think him wise? Oh, he is wise. Is he? Would a wise man value the opinion of someone so new? I have no opinion of that. Ah. What is your opinion? My opinion is that you have a great many opinions. And perhaps that is why what opinions you do have God finds valuable. That is your whole opinion? My opinion is you are foolish. If you think your opinions have any real value to God. You are disquieting. Am I? Yes. And is that so terrible? I have no opinion of that. God will not be pleased. With what? Well, here he has counted himself rich with valuable opinions. And you will confront him with so many things in which you have no opinion. You bring me unhappiness. Is that so bad? It is my opinion that God does not mean for me to be unhappy. And if your opinion does not reflect the truth, Bring me doubt. Do I? Yes. I, I, I have never doubted before. Well, everything is new here. It is my opinion that God does not mean for me to have doubt. Isn't it possible that God expects you to seek happiness? It's possible. But it is also possible that happiness is here. Happiness is a state of mind. Happiness isn't anywhere. I don't understand. Good. Is it? 
Would you not be happier if you understood? Oh, yes. Then you'll have to seek understanding. Yes, I see that. Do you understand everything that you see? Uh, that is not possible. Then you'll have a great many questions. Yes. And more forming by the moment. And if you do not get the answers? I will not be completely happy. Then in this life, you will never be completely happy. Why? Because in this world, for every answer, there's another question. In fact, every question begs another question. <laughs> Ask me a question. Is this place not a perfect place? What is perfect? God is perfect. Is God here? I don't know. Can you see him? No. Well, then he is at least missing from your sight. Yes. Do you miss him? At this moment? Yes. Yes. Then for you at this moment, Eden is not a perfect place. What's the matter? I am afraid. Why? I am not obeying God. How are you not? God told me to enjoy myself. And I don't believe you can enjoy yourself and be unhappy at the same time. You thundered, Lord? Something has happened. Joshua, this is your chance. I'm ready, Lord. Go to Adam. Why? What's wrong with Adam? Adam is afraid. Afraid? What? Of the thunder? No, Adam is afraid because he is thinking. Thinking can be a very frightening experience. I'll stop him thinking, Lord. I'll order him to stop thinking. I don't want you to do that. Well, then, what should I do? You know, I don't know. Play it by ear. Yes, Lord. And Josh. Yes, Lord. Put down the carrot. Yes, Lord. Gray. Gray? Adam? What's the matter? Lord? Lord, no. Joshua. Guardian angel. What do you need? Joshua, help me, please. I bring you succor, comfort, and support. What do you need? I, I need some answers. How about succor, comfort, and support? I have questions. I have succor, comfort, and support. No answers. Don't you know anything? I know what I see. And you accept it? God made it. It's perfect. And you must be completely happy. I must be. I wish I could be as certain as you. Well, of course. You're not an angel, are you? No, but you are. See these wings? Josh, what is an angel? An angel is a perfect soul. And a man? Well, man... Is not an angel. Well... Is an imperfect soul. Well, we... Made by God. Well, yes, but... Now, I thought God made only perfect things. Well, see, some things are perfect. Other things are perfectly perfect, and other things are so perfectly perfect that they would make an ordinarily perfect thing look imperfect. How? Why? I have succor, comfort, and support. 
No answers. And I seek happiness. See God. I'm afraid to see God just now. Adam, I feel sorry for you. Why? God is love. What is love? What I am rapidly losing for you. God, God Josh, God. I need succor, comfort, and support. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, but you talk so foolishly. God made you. Why? I don't know. Well, I want to know. You're yelling at an angel. Am I? Yes, why? Oh. But he's got me doing it, too. Josh, I, I, I seek understanding. If I don't understand something about something, then I cannot be completely happy. Adam, can't you just accept what is? Perhaps if I knew what is. What are you talking about? What, what is? Is. Josh, do you see that black bird? Yes. What is it? Well, it's a crow. God made it. God named it. OK, it's a crow. What is a crow? Crows, it's feathers, wings. It's, it's that. Well, of course it's that. But what is that? Is it just feathers and flight? Do the feathers keep it warm? Why does it fly? It fly. It flies because it was meant to fly. It, it flies because it wants to, to get somewhere. It flies because it wants to see something. Where does it want to get? Why does it want to get there? What does it want to see? Why does it want to see it? It's something up there so wonderful. Why then don't I have wings so that I might fly up there and see it too? Josh. There's more up there in that bird than you know. Certainly more than I know. I don't have to know. It doesn't make me unhappy not to know. I have to know. It would make me happier to know. Because by knowing, I might find out that it was more than I imagined it was, than just by seeing it. What more, Adam? God, were you listening? I am always listening. I'm anxious to know how you feel, Adam. What more? He hasn't bowed, Lord. Well, perhaps he hasn't found the perfection you have, Josh. What's missing, Adam? God! I don't know. Ah, but something. You sense it. I do. So do I. I told Josh. He tells me everything. He loves me. I met someone in the garden. Great. Yes. He thinks up puzzling questions. Well, you will no longer meet him in the garden, Adam. From now on, he will be part of you. There will always be a little gray matter in your mind to help you form your questions. God, I'm glad you gave him the brain and not me. I love always being perfect. It's easy to love perfection. That's very nice, Adam. God, do you love Eden? Adam, you don't question God. Why not? Well, because he's him and you're you. Don't. Thank you, Lord. But since I'm me, I give him permission. As a matter of fact, I insist on you questioning. Yes, I love Eden. Even though you sense it's imperfect. Oh, I didn't say it was imperfect. But you sense something is missing. I, I trust your instincts. If something is missing, it's imperfect. In my ultimate wisdom, I have given man a brain, and it gratifies me to see that he is using it. Yes, I love it. Even though there is a chance a slim. that it might prove to be imperfect. Why don't you? Lord, I found this small cat. Oh, Fred. Yes. It had fallen, I think. It did indeed. 
I have to increase its sense of balance. It could break its neck the way it is. It's evolution, Adam. That's the ticket. Josh and I were discussing it. A little change at a time. Keep the kettle boiling. Tomorrow is different from today. It's an exciting notion that keeps me on my toes. Oh, I'm sorry. You were saying about the kitty. Well, it had hurt its leg, I think. Oh, I saw it. It was imperfect. And my heart went out to it. And, and so I, I rubbed its little leg, and I think it felt better. At least it didn't limp quite so badly. I do think it felt better. No question about it. And I felt better. It needed me. And I did feel better. I felt more than I was before. And your conclusion? He just said it, Josh. It's easy to love perfection. But of all my creatures, only man can love imperfection. Man and God. Well, I made man in God's image. Yes, well, he wouldn't be such of an image if I hadn't told you to get rid of that tail and that silly horn and those stupid... wings. God's better looking. Adam, are you happy? For the moment, Lord. But I'm sure I'll be unhappy again soon. Live with it. I'll try, Lord. God, thank you for the cat. He thanks me for a cat? I give him the world? And he thanks me for a cat? <laughs> well, what does he know, Lord? He's only a man.